Yo guys, what's up? Matt from Upsland Mining coming back at you with another video. So, um, since you know DJ and I have been doing the uh, Flux uh, Node Store project, go over www.fluxnodestore.com if you're still interested in purchasing a purchasing a Flux Node. Um, from there, it's a prepackaged machine that we already preload some menu systems. We preload Linux. It meets the hardware criteria for a Cumulus Node, um, and it should. Get you up to going on creating a node that being said there's obviously going to be some setup involved so we've have been working with a couple customers over customer support um, we had a couple different issues where people are entering the wrong zell uh, id which is basically your zell core id and they're confusing that with things like the um the zell uh, the node private key which is actually inside the node um, so make sure you go over on the fluxnodestore.com i'll put a link in the description box below uh youtube channel and check out the um a video there on setting up your flux box so, so everything's got to be in check we're seeing a lot of uh, network issues so people not having um, their firewall or their routers blocking port 9090 which we traditionally use to connect on the browser ui we often say in that in those scenarios to make sure you use um make sure you go over and use uh, putty ssh which will connect on port 22 or make sure you unblock your firewall so you can connect to that machine um, anyways, guys, the video is not really about that today. Um, I kind of want to talk today about um, this. There's actually a pretty cool tool called SimpleSwap.io. Um, these guys did reach out to me and they asked me to do a video on it. And I don't mind doing a video on it at all because I've used it a couple times myself. Um, if you take a look here, you go to SimpleSwap.io. I did a couple different uh, exchanges myself a while back where I had... Um, I swapped from uh, BTC to USDC. I went from U uh, ETH to Flux. Um, there is the amounts that I went uh, over, but uh, basically, it's a pretty interesting platform because every time you do a like a transaction or a swap between two different types of coins, uh, you get these things called swap coins, which are kind of just like loyalty points. So like I don't like I don't know, if you guys are from Canada, or they're like kind of like Club Z points, or like points where you can collect for using the platform. And then if you reach a certain amount of uh, these swap points uh, coins, you'll actually be able to re um, kind of. Um, claim them, I guess, in, in like a cashback reward. I'm not sure if they'll pay you out in Bitcoin or Ethereum, um, but we'll kind of go over that in a second. The reason why I wanted to show this is some people uh, do have issues uh, getting their coins into Flux, right? So as you guys know, for the Cumulus node, you do require a, uh, let's go to the Flux node store right now. You do require a um, thousand Flux, run on Flux.io. So this is kind of a, I guess this video is kind of going to be um, sort of a little bit flux node centric, but also a focus on this simple swap.io too, which would, which will help you guys get flux, uh, thousand, the, the thousand flux that you guys are wanting. So if you look at the thousand, uh, sort of the cumulus node, we do require a thousand flux. So in addition to actually having the piece of hardware and ready to go, which we do sell on the fluxnodestore.com, um, and we, we do have a bunch in stock here as well uh, remaining. I think we have like... I think I got about 13 left, so guys, head over there if you're interested in buying one. Um, we do have some there. Uh, but you do require, for this, a 1,000 Flux. A lot of people don't have Flux, or they're not on an exchange, which you can buy Flux directly through, which is, personally, I'm not. I'm in Canada, so I use things like BitBuy or even uh, Coinbase and things like that, and I don't think you can actually buy Flux on BitBuy.ca, which is one of my main uh, exchanges. So what I did uh, in these cases was I wanted to get 1,000 Flux, so all I did was I simply took um, some Ethereum or Bitcoin that I had and I swapped it into Flux. So uh, Flux is one of my biggest holdings right now. Uh, I'm a big advocate of the project, the platform, or the nodes, uh, and things like that. Um, and so I got uh, over 5,000, 6,000 Flux, and I'm also mining Flux. Um, so, I mean, if you don't have enough, uh, I guess if you don't want to wait to mine the 1,000 Flux, where you don't have the thousand flux already, the next best thing is to actually take something you might have already, which is like maybe BTC, Bitcoin, or um, USDC, or Ethereum. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to basically swap over, um, just go through a test here. I'm going to I have USDC. I got about thirty USDC. So I'm going to switch some US, USDC into um, into flux right now. So it's not going to be a lot. Uh, actually, let's go UTC into uh, Ethereum. So we'll do uh, BT, sorry, USDC, USDC into Ethereum because uh, my Ethereum is kind of low. So what we're going to do here, you're going to go to simpleswap.io, okay? And you can kind of do it this way here. But what I did was I created an account. So I recommend creating an account because if you create an account, you'll be able to have the history 
uh, of all your previous swaps, right? So I guess before I do that, let me just quickly go over here. So it's just, it's a, I'm just gonna read here. So if you go to their FAQs on simpleswap.io, see there's a user-friendly reliable instant service for cryptocurrency and fiat to crypto exchanges. So it's just basically a platform which allows you to take one cryptocurrency and swap it around. Um, I don't know if you can actually swap from like US dollars. I don't know if you can do that. Can you do that? Like actually send money, real money? I don't think so. Okay, so it allows you to switch between, uh, I could be wrong, uh, but it looks like you can switch between um, cryptocurrencies only, I, I would assume here. So, um, yeah, so if you get if you, if you join a, you know the program here, you get uh, uh, basically, um, you get basically, you can basically become part of this loyalty program, it looks like, uh, and they got some good support here. Um, so I'm, without reading all this, uh, well, I'll read some of it. The simple swap trading system is integrated into the largest cryptocurrency stock exchanges, right? There's no deposit storage, only instant coin exchange on our server. So if you send money, they're not taking it, they're not storing it. And this is a trustworthy service. I can vouch for them because I've used it multiple times to get Flux and other coins that I might have wanted. Um, it's a very good convenience project. Um, but yeah, essentially when you create an exchange, which we'll do right now, uh, let's go back to here. So Mike, we'll go back to my account. Um, uh, that's what I want. Okay, so now that we're in um, my dashboard here, what we're going to do is we're going to basically click a new click a new exchange. Okay, um, we're going to send uh, some USDC that I have. So we're going to just click the drop down here. It takes a second to load, looks like. So we're going to go uh, USDC ERC20, which is a wrap token in the Ethereum network. Um, and we're going to send um, 20 USDC to, oh, it looks like you need 38 minimum. One second, guys. Okay, all right, so you're watching me go through my trials and tribulations here. We're going to send a little bit of Bitcoin to get just a little tiny bit of Ethereum. So uh, so we're going to send 0 0.001. What is 0 0.001? 0 0.01. 0 .01. So 0 0.01, what is 0 0.01 BPC? Uh, okay, let me just check and see what this is worth. USD. So I just want to find out how much I'm going to send over first. So this is kind of a live. This is kind of a live as I figure it out video here. I've done it before, but I just want to do it right. I don't want to send too much money over. So zero point. So let's take a look at my wallets here. I am basically, I want to send, I have 1.99, so I need what, one, 0 0.1. I would need about 0 0.1 um, Ethereum. So I'll, I, I guess I'll send 0 0.1 Ethereum. Uh, I want 0 0.1 Ethereum to get to two ETH because I literally use a lot of my ETH up. So 0 0.1 ETH. So let's go back to here. And we're going to send 0 0.1 uh, we want. I want the smallest amount possible, just to hit that. So I'm just kind of figuring out a number that'll give me 0 0.1 ETH. Okay, so screw this. We're just gonna go zero point zero zero eight ETH or nine. Uh, let's try eight five. 
So it's pretty good. It'll do the calculations like on the fly, like as you're doing it. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna send 0 .00, 0 0.0087 uh, BTC, and we're gonna convert it into Ethereum. Okay, so what we do is we click Exchange. Okay. Okay, so after we set up what we want to send, the amount we want to send, click Exchange. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, okay, hold on a second. I'm going to get my uh, Ethereum address. Okay, so this is the amount you want to send it to. So we're going to send 0 0.0087 BTC or 0 0.00. Point zero, uh, zero point one zero four six seven seven three seven Ethereum to this. This is where the address is. Okay. So then, we, what you do now is you you click create an exchange. Okay. So this is where you want to get the, the Ethereum. Okay. Now what you're gonna do? What it's gonna do is gonna create a little screen here, which is pretty cool. And you're gonna go back into your wallet. Okay. And you see this little thing? It'll give you a, like a temporary kind of like middleman uh, wallet. Okay. You send the amount to this wallet. Okay, so if I'm going to go to my uh, Bitcoin um, wallet here and I click on send, it's kind of I'm doing it on the side here. Okay, and then we're going to uh, just paste in that amount. So we're going to send it to here, it's the middleman, and we're going to put in point zero point zero zero eight. Seven. Okay. To show you guys what I'm doing, so I put that in there. Okay. I'm going to send 0 0.0087 BTC. Okay. And we're going to use this uh, normal, I guess. What's fast? We'll go normal. Um, and then we'll hit send. And that's going to send it to that temporary address. And then it's going to monitor that temporary address. Once it gets it, it'll send the Ethereum to the Ethereum address that we put in earlier. So we hit send here. And we hit yes. Okay, and now it's going to continue to say waiting for your deposit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to come back once it actually receives the amount. So it's got to scan that. Uh, the blockchain to see when it gets that money going to that uh, that account right there, the temporary Bitcoin account. It'll take that money, uh, take a small amount of fee, um, and obviously you'll pay your transaction fees on the network. That's how a blockchain works, a proof of work. And it'll send it over to the address here. So it'll send the, in the 0 0.104, and then we'll get 42.109 uh, and change swap here, which will get added to your account. And like I said, you can take the swap coins at any point in time. It's kind of like a uh, it's kind of like a reward system, and you can take that um, swap and just kind of cash it out, right? So yeah, I'll be very clear. This video is somewhat sponsored, but I've used this before. So I like when they reached out to me, I'm like, okay, man, I don't mind you. I don't mind showing this because uh, I just kind of promoted it just because it's an easy to use tool. Um, there might be other ways where you're, you can do it where you might save maybe a, a buck or two here and there but when you when you want to do something and you want to get the money right away you want your thousand flux for your node for example this is a great tool to use it so i recommend using simpleswap.io give me a second and once this comes back and i'll show you um, what it says once it receives the actual money or coin i guess in this case all right guys i had to grab some coffee but okay so if you take a look here um, it was waiting for the it was waiting for the deposit right so it's basically when I was just doing it, its basic step the deposit uh, pending was the pop the, the pending deposit was deposited into that temporary Bitcoin account it's now going to confirm it once it's confirmed that it, it'll exchange and it'll send the amount out as well as you'll also receive this swap so like I said if you're gonna use the service um, create an account because at least you get these swap coins that you can use for cash back in the future things like that why not it makes sense anyways right so if you're gonna be using the service why not get a little advantage there as well? So I'm just gonna be back in a second once this confirms and uh, I'll talk to you in a second. All right guys, boy, that took a while. Um, not because of simple swap, but because Bitcoin itself, the transactions takes a while. You need to get a couple confirmations in order for this to, uh, to actually succeed. And once the confirmations are all done uh, by the miners of the network, um, it will actually send the uh, amount out. So this is, uh, Looks like it's pretty good. I'll just check the wallet to make sure that the amounts went in. Yeah, and as you guys can see, the amount went in. So this is 0 0.1, 0 0.10583. And let's go over to here. Um, we'll check on my account and we'll see on the history. Um, 
Yep, so the amount sent on over there. So every, if you click on that, let's see if we can look at, take a look at what it was done here. So I got 0 0.105834. So 105834. Yep, so the amounts match up perfectly. Uh, and then I also got 42 swap coins. So let's take a look here on the loyalty, loyalty program here. It looks like you can do a minimum withdrawal of uh, 0 0.008 BTC once it reaches a certain amount of swap, I guess, in your swap balance. So, um, yeah, guys, I recommend uh, checking out simpleswap.io. As you can see, it was very easy for me to do this. And for all you guys running Flux nodes, you're saying you need to get 1,000 Flux. I recommend using something like this. If you already have an existing Ethereum or Bitcoin wallet and you have some uh, coin in there, you can convert some of that over to the 1,000 Flux that you know, might need. All right, guys, so one thing I did notice at the time of this video, when this video was made, is that you can't f uh, currently swap into flux at the moment but i have done it in the past so i reached out to the customer support and i'm like basically why why can't i flux uh swap into flux anymore right and this um this uh david came back here in the live chat and said uh unfortunately the asset is temporarily available we are working to get the pairs back with flux as, soon as possible thank you for understanding so the customer support seems really good so if you run into problems looks like they'll be there to answer your questions and i said okay awesome do we know when it will be back and and then he replied back uh Possibly, there's no ETA, but it's possibly the next 24 hours. So by the time you guys watch this video, chances are that Flux will be back, or it'll be back shortly within a few days, I would I would assume, coming from the software industry myself. So once again, guys, <clears throat> this video was somewhat sponsored, I guess. I'm not sure what I'm going to get out of it, if anything at all. They sent me an email. They asked me to do a video on it. Um, they didn't give me any um, this full transparency. They didn't tell me to say this or say that about it. They just basically asked me to talk about the, the platform if I've used it before. And yes, I full heartedly have used it before. Even if they are making a small amount of money on the transactions, I say it's worth it for the peace of mind. Um, the awesome support and the uh, various, uh, um, the large number of currencies that you can actually swap between. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna kind of leave that video there where it is now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now. Thank you.